know there's a lot of people here in the Philippines, especially those who live in the northern Luzon, as it will be affected by the strongest typhoon that is coming in 2018. But it's actually not going to be a super typhoon as far as I know. But it says that it's going to be a Category 5 super typhoon according to the Joint Typhoon Weather Center or JTWC in the United States of America. But anyway, uh, without further any ado, uh, we got our guest uh, weather report here. So though this is actually a special report for those um, to get informed about the weather, which is actually Typhoon Mangkut or Ompong in the Philippines. So we got a guest reporter from We Bear Bears. Though she's a child prodigy, uh, she skipped some grades. Her joke's on you. And she is Chloe Park. Chloe, since it's about to rain tomorrow early morning, um, it is actually good to say um, we're actually safe here after the awarding six hours ago. And I just wanted to tell you that we need to stay safe as we have to prepare ourselves. So, any status or the latest update about the Typhoon Mancook? Dominic, before I start with the first day's Triad on Weather Report, I would just say that congratulations to Miki for winning in the photography contest in the Binoongan result, which he lived there. As you see the ranking the screen below. It was held at Gaisano Capital Mall. Now moving on, Typhoon Alian or Yolanda is way worse almost back in 5 years ago. And hits the most part of Visayas including Leyte. And you know what getting worse now? Here is it. Currently, Typhoon Ampong with its international mangkut is still here and Pulpis Ariel's responsibility with the maximum sustained winds of 205 km per hour, which the good times of 285 km per hour. Take note. This is a partial speed but it may not intensity into a super typhoon as I have chance to become a super typhoon. But as tomorrow, I appreciate more parts northern Luzon will be affected by typhoon Ampong and expect to landfall in Cagayan province. Aside from the Philippines, it will also affect South them parts of Taiwan, as it may continue intensity when Typhoon Mang could exit part on Sunday. The residents of Hong Kong will be affected by stronger typhoon before it dissolves. Public storm warning signals can be seen in Department of Science and Technology. Also take note that I'm just beginning for the weather report as I'm still more into college skills. As I'm still child pro DG, and that's the latest update for the Typhoon Mangkut. Back to you, Dominique. My gosh, Chloe, we got a bad weather happening throughout the weekend. Well, I got a question for you, Chloe. Um, yes. If you have any question, you can ask. Go ahead. As some of the book lovers are still willing to go on the Manila International Book Fair this weekend, although the heavy rain might come and approach us. So, uh, we got a brief question here, and I hope it, uh, it works. But before I give you a question, um, I would just like to say, uh, just to inform you that there was a seminar in the past times, right? Seminars about the flood drills um, happening when it rains so hard, evacuation, and also the most dangerous disease, which is actually the leptospirosis, which is actually when you walk on the flood with, with your legs and... And and the water is very dirty and with and the water is very dirty with rats and some people died, just like what happened in Ondoy last two thousand nine. But when it comes to the typhoon, as it as it might become a super typhoon this weekend, will there be a possibility to hit the most parts of northern and central Luzon with a possible flash floods and landslide and a seventy five percent possibility of the heavy to intense rains? caused by the typhoon Mangkut. I'm um, Dominique, as I've researched on the internet from Joint Typhoon Weather Center of GTWC, it will experience heavy rains and strong winds by the typhoon as some parts are paths and abra and higher areas may have tendency to produce landslide at large floods. But in Metro Manila, it will likely have moderate to heavy rains throughout the weekend. 
So I encourage everyone, especially in Guam and Hong Kong, to stay safe and evacuate yourselves. Be sure to charge your power banks right now before it's too late, just in case the electrical will be cut off in that area. So I recommend you to stay in safe place, Dominique. From the Wee Bear Bears, Chloe Park, thanks for joining us here. Thank you. It's pleasure to be here. For those people who wanted to study in UP, um, you still got more time to review because UPCAT or University of the Philippines College Admission Test has been suspended this weekend in preparation of the Typhoon Mangkut or Ompong in the Philippines. Just wait for the reschedule as it will be sent via message or just visit University of the Philippines Facebook page. Um, Chloe was right and she said that uh, we should not be hard-headed or wag talaga matigas yung ulo pagdating sa kaligtasan. Um, you just have to evacuate yourself. Um, since if you have a, a, what do you call this? If you have an occasion or any trip that you are going by weekend, um, you, you, you better have to cancel it for a while since it might hit in your area so you must stay indoors or go to an evacuation center for your safety because if you don't then you might end up with a casualty well um, this is actually our advice to you that we hope that you will stay safe for more some of the latest videos just visit to this channel migi7225 or philip miguel or stargun fan 65 and like us on Facebook page, that's facebook.com slash PMG Network Global. And follow him on Twitter, it's Hey It's Miggy. On the behalf of John MacLee Pedro, I'm Dominic McDouglas. Thank you for watching.